So here it is. The time has arrived. Our session is about ready to get started. Almost everyone's here, but we get a phone call at the last minute. One person's not showing up. What do we do? This is something that needs to be discussed ahead of time in regards of whether this be a session zero or maybe just on a week by week basis on if we continue the game without one person or two people or depending on how the group is, maybe even more. How many people are allowed to miss the game with the game still going on? When it comes to a smaller group, I'm okay with one person missing if there's not anything too major going on in the story. But of course, that comes down to the situation. It comes down to what's going on in the game. But what do we do when everyone can sense that the game can continue on without a person? What do we do with that PC? There are several ways to approach this, and I've approached it a number of different ways. The first one being, they simply disappear. They are just there one moment and they're gone the next and no one acknowledges it, no one recognizes it. It's just a flat out, this PC disappears into the Aether and is gone, but you continue playing that session like they were pretty much just never existed. Or maybe you offhandedly make some fun jokes about it. And then the next session they show back up and they're filled in on everything and it's as if they were there the whole time. This is a great way to handle it if you don't want anybody touching that PC at all, whether that be in the form of combat or in the form of roleplay, and you don't want anything pertaining to that character to happen, but the PC is just left in on what's going on, and we all just laugh it off and say, oh yeah, you were totally there the whole time. Two, they head back to town. They head back to the inn. They head back home. They stay at the friend's place. Wherever it is, whatever it is, they are there. If you're out in the dungeon, the PC says, oh, hey, got a blast, and it heads out of there, no problem. But then shows back up the next session. Maybe you, everyone is still in town, but the PC says, oh, I've got some things to do. I'll catch you guys later. Simple as that. The PC walks away, and it's perfectly reasonable. There doesn't need to be this super duper elaborate excuse. The PC simply says, I've got some things to do and I'll show back up later. This is a great one if the situation comes up, but there is often times where this simply isn't an option. It simply doesn't fit with what the story is and what's going on in the world and the resources that they have, wherever they are. There's a lot of reasons why this one can't work, but when it does work, it works pretty well. Three, they stay out of the way. Simply put, they are there, but they are the background character. If this was a cartoon, they'd be the one that has a no facial features in the background. They are the character that is simply there, but more there in body than there in spirit. In regards to the role play, they don't speak up, they don't do anything major, they do absolutely nothing. And then in form of combat, maybe they happen to be around the corner at the time and totally miss the engagement. Maybe they are simply in the other room, and maybe they simply trip up and fall and they're completely preoccupied throughout the entirety of the engagement. This is an easy one to default to if the PC cannot head back home, as you can still explain, oh yeah, they are there the whole time, maybe they were just a bit too busy, maybe they are a bit preoccupied thinking about something else. Four, the DM controls them. The PC is there, the PC is actively doing things, maybe not necessarily a hardcore roleplay, but they are definitely there in body and in spirit, they can contribute just a little bit, they can impart some knowledge. But, so long as there is no metagaming involved from the other players, it should be perfectly fine. As long as the other players don't immediately start pressing the PC for some information that they normally didn't divulge before, or whatever the case may be, as long as everyone acts the same, it should be perfectly okay. This is really good for combat as well, because if you have some combats already listed there, and you don't want to change the engagement, then simply having the PC there under your control is perfectly fine. Just run them as is. Now number five here, I don't like other players controlling PCs. This pertains mostly to my style of play because I do run somewhat lethal games and PCs can die. I would absolutely be miserable if I showed back up to the table and my PC was killed because another player did something wrong or even if they did do nothing wrong, even if they fully explained to me that it had nothing to do with that, the player still controlling my PC that got them killed, I'd be pretty salty myself. Now, of course, this doesn't have to pertain to everyone's game, not everyone runs lethal games, and that's fine, but I still don't like other players controlling PCs because maybe they do some things that the player character would never do. Maybe the player that owns that one missing PC is absolutely dead set on getting something done 
and they simply can't do it then. And then the players that actually take over the PC run it a completely different way. There's a lot of various circumstances that go on, and I simply don't like other players controlling apps and PCs. You can, of course, let this happen if everyone is perfectly fine and dandy with it. It's just my personal style, my personal beliefs. It doesn't work with me. But if you are running a super fun, light, happy game, and you don't have to worry about PCs dying, and you trust everyone at the table to run the characters exactly as they should, then it's fine, just so long as everyone agrees to it. Of course, it really comes down to the absent person missing. Have them state openly what they want done with the PC. Maybe show them this list. Maybe make up your own list on, hey, you're going to be gone for the session. Tell me what you want. Simply asking that one question is going to get you the right result. And no matter what, you can work with it easy peasy, no problem. So go ahead and tell me, what do you normally do with apps and PCs? Do you do something from this list or do you do something entirely different? How many players can be missing from your session while you still are allowed to run it? And do you let other players control other PCs? I'm curious to know. Go ahead and tell me those things because I would love to hear it. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. And thank you to my amazing patrons. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so very much. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next one.